Hello everyone, I am Anuj Nakade and you are watching Live Law. There is important news from the Supreme Court on Mr. Sanjeev Bhatt, a former IPS officer who is convicted of life imprisonment by a Sessions Court in Jamnagar in Gujarat. Mr. Sanjeev Bhatt was convicted after being found guilty of the custodial death of one Prabhudas Madhavji Vaishnani in 1990. Before the trial court, he had filed an application to produce expert evidence of one doctor to support this argument that the death of Prabhudas Madhavji Vaishnani was not due to the sit-ups he was forced to do while in custody. Against the conviction by the Sessions judge, Mr. Bhatt preferred an appeal before the Gujarat High Court. He also filed an application under Section 391 of the Code of Criminal Procedure seeking to adduce additional expert evidence, but on 24th August 2022, a division bench of Justice Vipul M. Pancholi and Justice Sandeep N. Bhatt dismissed that application. Mr. Bhatt then filed an appeal against the dismissal of that application before the Supreme Court by a special leave petition. Today, a bench of the Supreme Court consisting of Justice M. R. Shah and Justice C. T. Ravi Kumar has dismissed the challenge to the application stating that going through the order of the High Court, the Court finds no reason to interfere. There is one more judgment pertaining to Mr. Sanjeev Bhatt which was declared earlier in the day. Mr. Bhatt had filed an application for the recusal of Justice Shah from hearing the petition challenging the order of the Gujarat High Court. It is worth noting that Justice Shah is due to retire on the coming 15th of May. Senior Advocate Devdat Kamat, who appeared for Bhatt, had requested the recusal of Justice Shah on the ground that while Justice Shah was a judge of the Gujarat High Court, he had passed strictures against Mr. Bhatt. But the counsel appearing for the state of Gujarat opposed the application for recusal, saying that Justice Shah had dealt with many cases of Mr. Bhatt and the plea of recusal was not made then. Senior counsel Mr. Atmaram Natkarni, who appeared for the original complainant, also supported the case of the state government. Mr. Kamat argued that justice should not only be done, but also seen to be done. And there may not be bias, but there is a reasonable apprehension of the likelihood of bias. However, Justice Shah was not inclined to recuse himself from hearing this petition. Later in the day, the bench heard the petition adducing the additional evidence in the custodial death trial. Mr. Kamat, who appeared for Mr. Bhatt, submitted to the court that the controversy is regarding the cause of death, which is a condition called rhabdomyolysis, and it should be proved by the evidence of Dr. Narayan Reddy and the death, in fact, occurred 10 days after the victim was released on bail. To add to Mr. Bhatt's case, the post-mortem report did not show any signs of any injuries. However, as we said, the court observed no grounds to interfere with the High Court's order. That's all we have for you in this video. If you found the video informative, please leave a like and tell us in the comments how we can shape our content to bring you your legal news in more engaging ways. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.